Hi. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, because I'm posting this on my dad's page as well as my own, I'm Aviva. I am Joel Pressman's daughter. Through this whole process of him having cancer, he has announced every step of the way through posting videos online. And so he and I discussed that when he passed, I would announce it by making a video of my own. So my dad passed today. Uh, November 18th, 2013, he outlived everyone's expectations, uh, if only from stubbornness. They said he wouldn't make it through the weekend, and he fucking did. Uh, he quite literally died in my arms, which is, I think, how he would have wanted it. Uh, sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I'm gonna cry. Uh, in all of my dad's videos, he tried to keep it light. He wanted to have humor. So I'm going to read to you some of the hallucinations and funny things he said in the last few weeks. He, uh, there are, there's the usual road to death and the difficult road to death is what they call them. And the difficult road to death involves a lot of hallucinations and delirium and restlessness and paranoia. And we got to do that one. So... If nothing else, it's really good that he's not in pain, and I hope that people people can see that this was, in many ways, a relief for him. Uh, there will be a private service for just family for the funeral, and then there will be a big memorial. We don't have the date yet, but when we do, we'll let everybody know uh, through Facebook and through, through other ways. Uh, everyone is invited to sing at the big memorial. Also, he asked that if people want to do make donations in his name, they be made to Idlewild Arts and the American Cancer Society. Um, okay, so, uh, like I said, he always liked to have some funny stuff in his video, keep it light, um, and he said some very funny things. Uh, I don't even know where to start. There were so many of them. He asked me to read to him from the hamburger games. And then he heard someone down the hall make fun of him. And he said, what's wrong with hamburgers? They're so cuddly. Um, I also enjoyed that he was still super judgmental when he was hallucinating. So the other day he looked at me and he said, so we're just going to ignore the trout? It's very judgy. Another judgmental one was. <laughs> he, uh... He said, I have spider webs all over my legs. So I went, okay, okay. And I went to clear them with my hand. And uh, he looked at me and he said, your hand is literally going through solid wood right now. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then uh, when my brother came and helped the last couple weeks and he, uh, and my dad said, go sit in the corner by the door. So, my, so Elijah got up and my dad said, Elijah, don't go. And he said, okay, I'm here, I'm staying, I won't go anywhere. And he said, I'm sorry, this seat's taken, which was pretty great. Um, he, uh, I posted this on my Facebook, so some of you may have seen it, but my, my grandparents came over and he looked at my grandpa and said, are those onion rings in the shape of your face? And I said, no, no, that's just his face. And then later I said, why don't we get you into bed? And, and he said, but I just want to taste dad's face. <laughs> It was very sad, but really funny. Um, what else? He, uh, God, there were so many good ones. Um, oh, is that glitter on the wall? No? Oh, you ran out. Yep, that's why. Um, oh yeah, this was a great one. Um, did a kitten just scurry across the room? I don't know. Okay, well, if it was a kitten, we should get another one so that they can fight it out and see who does the job better. Uh, he also taught some madrigal classes from his bed and uh, dismissed everyone and told them to meet back at the hotel. And, and actually, that one was, was nice. He, he, uh, he and I had an interaction where he thought that I, where I was playing everyone in madrigals and he was on a trip with them. And then he said, I really hope this isn't a hallucination. And you never knew that it wasn't. So that was good. 
Um, yeah, so those were some fun moments. There's not much else to say. Thank you for everyone who has been supportive. Ooh, ooh. Thank you for everyone who's been supportive. And uh, I'm not going to be sitting Shiva in a traditional way because I don't want to invite everyone into my house. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. But if you're a friend of mine, not a friend of my father's, and you want to help bring some food or help me clean up, that would be nice. I just really kind of want to be with my own community right now. Um, I want to be with with his for my own comfort now that he's gone. I hope everyone will be understanding of that. And All right. Well, uh, rest in peace, Joel David Pressman. It was a good life. Thank you. Bye. It's seven. It's not seven. It's only 4.30. So you're okay to stay there. What's at seven? Warming up and singing with your ragtag bag of gypsies. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll let you know when it's time for that. Turning them into firing force. Where are you going? Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio? What's there? Baltimore. <laughs> I don't think Baltimore's in Cleveland, is it? Did you see the news last night? No. What I ask of all of you is as you go from this experience to the next experience, be proud of yourself, always, with justification. <laughs> um, <laughs>